Hey guys, um, so it's week six here on the men's room. I am recording this. Um, let's see if I can put this over here. Oh, that's my coffee cup. Um, I am recording this on Sunday, not Monday, because I'm really bored. Um, but today's topic, well, the week's topic, is testosterone. So, the questions are, I guess I'll answer them one at a time. Um, do you plan on taking testosterone? And that is a yes. Um, let's see, um, maybe I'll just read the other questions. Okay, do you plan on taking testosterone? If you're on testosterone, how long have you been on it? How do you get testosterone? What forms of testos what forms does testosterone come in? How long do you have to take it? What are the effects? What are the side effects of stopping? Okay. Do I plan on taking testosterone? That was a yes. Um, currently in the process of starting. Um, so I haven't the next question is how long have you been on it? But um I haven't started yet. So how do you get testosterone? Um well, some guys go through a therapist. Um, you know, you get a gender specialist and you start counseling, and then you get a T letter, you know, approving you that you are psychologically okay to start testosterone and start your tra medical transition or continue it if that's what the case may be. Um, and then you go to an endocrinologist and they take blood and they see that, you know, all your functions are normal and um, so then once your blood work comes back you get your script um, so then I went a different route which is the second route you can take there's this thing called informed consent um, it's uh, so I went to my doctor, um, I went down to the Mazzoni Center, which is an LGBT clinic in Philadelphia, and so I went in, I talked to them, I was like, you know, I want to start tea, blah, 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 and they took blood to get analyzed, um, and then my next appointment, I will have a psychological evaluation, like a mental evaluation for about an hour. And then I get my script. So you don't have to really go through the whole hurdles of getting a letter and all that kind of stuff. Um, each doctor's different. Um, in how they function according to the Harry Benjamin standards of care, whether they follow it or not. Um, normally there is some form of a psych evaluation, but it you know, ranges from me who's getting it once to months of evaluation before you start. Um, most likely I will do injections, so that leads me to the next question. What forms does it come in? Um, there's a couple types of injection, like forms, like the way it's compounded. Um, sorry, I have to Okay, so there are two types of injectable form, I think, um, two most common. Um, there's testosterone siphonate, and there's t testosterone effinate. I don't know the difference. I just know that they both, um, they're both injectable. That's the route that most people go, um, is injectable form. Some people do it um, through tea cream, or um, it's like a an almost it's like this cream that you apply every day, and so the testosterone is absorbed through your skin. Um, I hear that has less up and downs than the shot does. Um, some guys use tea cream to enhance like dick growth, or they'll put some on their face to like escalate the. Um, facial hair production, um, but some guys do apply cream every day because it doesn't have the kind of effect that 
um, that, um, like, you know, when you get towards the end of a shot, um, sometimes you feel kind of uh, lousy, almost like, um, dreary or, I don't want to say depressed, but, um, like really tired because basically your body has absorbed all the tea. Um, and so what else is there? There's pills, apparently, but I've heard they do really big damage to your liver and that because you ingest it, your body doesn't, um, absorb the testosterone as easily, so it's a lot slower in the process. Um, where do I get it? Um, I know a lot of guys get it from Strohecker's. Um, if you just search Strohecker's Pharmacy online, they do, they're based out of Oregon, and they compound their own tea, and it's like 50 bucks a vial, and you get syringes and stuff. Um, so that's where I'll be getting mine. Um, you just have your, like, doctor fax your prescription over, and then you call and confirm and, like, give them your credit card information and all that kind of stuff. Um, what's the other question? What effects, what are the effects of testosterone? How, ooh, how long do you have to take it? You have to take it for the rest of your life. Um, if you stop, which is another, which is one of the other questions, um, if you stop and you haven't had a hysterectomy, um, to remove the organs that are the main producers of estrogen in your body, um, then a lot of the changes will go away. Um, I've, this is from a documentary I've seen, but, um, it's a lot easier, quote unquote easier in terms of physical appearance to go from Eve to Adam than it is from Adam to Eve. Um, such as like, I know MTF's voices don't raise when they start taking estrogen, the hair on their face doesn't go away, um, that kind of thing. But when you stop taking testosterone and you still have, you know, your organs producing estrogen, a lot of the changes will go away. Um, libido will go back down, um, hair production goes down, um, either chest hair or pubic hair or facial hair, um, will go, will like thin out slowly, um, and if you're off it for a really long time, I'm guessing that it would go away. But your voice will not raise, I'm, don't quote me on that, but, um, I'm pretty sure that um, your voice won't go back up and your clit won't decrease in size. But don't quote me on that, I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, effects of testosterone. I mean, there's, if you guys are on YouTube, you've obviously seen there's like eight bazillion videos about tea changes. Um, basically, you change from head to toe. Um, and it's not just physical, it's mental, too. Um, wow, I'm already at eight minutes. <laughs> um, let's see. So, in terms of physical, hairline changes. So, in the corners here, your hair would disappear because guys have that M configuration hairline. Um, and you get hairier in other places. Face, chest, pubic hair, arm hair, leg hair. You name it hair, you get it. Um, your voice will drop. Um, weight distribution changes, you know, instead of your weight going to your hips and thighs, it goes to your gut. And then there's muscle thickening, we'll call it. Um, your muscles get bigger. Not bigger, but um, stronger. Like, they get more dense. Um, let's see. And in terms of mental changes, because I haven't been on it, I can't say for sure the mental changes, but they do happen. And 
because, you know, you go from being an emotion-driven being to not. Um, so I've heard that, you know, your viewpoint on the world changes um, in terms of your mental thinking. Um, there's a different kind of clarity that males think with. You think about sex a lot more. <laughs> um, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's my information on testosterone. So I probably will be starting within the next couple weeks. Um, if any of you guys are in the Delco, you know, tri-state area, Philadelphia area, and you want the number for the Mazzoni Center, no problem, I'll give it to you. Um, hope you guys are having a great weekend.